Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, as you can see, I got a Vortec motor swapped into my 2003 Jeep TJ. And I'm going to set the confusion straight. So I sometimes refer to this in my video series, I talk about it as an LS swap, even though it is a Vortec motor. It's more commonly a lot of people just group the Vortec and LS together, even though the Vortec is not an actual LS motor. Even though they share pretty much almost all the exact same parts. Now, the reason why you're watching this video is to clear up the fuel pressure BS. I'm getting tired of trying to explain it to people on various pages and that is the truck manifold return style does not operate the same as your returnless LS. You get these arguments online that people think that on the Vortex style that has the return that it should see 58 PSI at all times. That's not the case. And I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna prove it to you because the fuel pressure is controlled by vacuum and that is your fuel pressure regulator right there. It doesn't matter. You could have 100 PSI coming off the fuel pump in the rear, but as soon as it hits this, fuel pressure regulator, it's going to start dumping back and only allow the pressure that it needs. So I got my fuel pressure tester here and on the truck manifold, of course, the valve that you need to go into is on the passenger side and that will be pressured up. So now that I'm set up, I'm gonna start my Jeep. I had a supercharger in this one, so I have a vacuum gauge. So, get the L keys on. Yeah, I ran about 16, 17 inches of vacuum. So you can see right there, I'm running about 50 pounds of pressure. So now this is where the problem comes in, is that people start posting. Now I only got 50 PSI, I'm supposed to see 58, my engine's gonna run lean and next thing you know the parts cannon starts coming out and people start throwing parts at it. Instead of doing the modified fuel tank mod that the Jeep done, they start adding external fuel pumps. Some people I've even read added two fuel pumps and can't understand why, they're still not seeing 58 PSI on the rail with a return line. And I'm going to show you what happens when you pull the vacuum line off the fuel pressure regulator. So I got air fuel ratio gauges right there. So once I start it back up, See, running perfect, 14.7 roughly. And we still got 50 PSI. Now as soon as I pull this vacuum line off, we're gonna go to 58. See, 58. Put the vacuum back on, pull it off. Put the vacuum back on, you see how that works? Now, if you were to pull that vacuum line off and you still didn't get to 58, then there's a definite problem in the system. That's how this works. And if you don't understand how the vacuum system works, the harder the engine works, the more the throttle is open, the vacuum drops out in the engine. If you're pushing, you know, you're working this thing, you're gonna have like five inches of vacuum, you're gonna have close to zero inches, depends how hard you're working it, and then it's gonna dump more fuel in it. Because otherwise, if it stayed at 50 and you had a demand like wide open throttle, yes, you probably will lean out your motor. And that's how it works. You guys understand now? I hope this answered a few questions and the debate can be over. And I know the issue comes down to the confusion between LS and Vortec motors. This only applies 
to the Vortec motor with the truck manifold that has the return line. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.